Hi there, I'm Jenna from scribbleandgrace.com. You may be wondering why I'm holding a bunch of vegetables. Well, today is part four on my series of using household objects to create really fun Bible journaling pages. And you guessed it, today we're gonna use vegetables. <laughs> we're gonna use these guys to make fun patterns and prints in our Bible. Let's go have some fun. All right, so I have a few vegetables here. Um, I have some romaine lettuce. This is gonna try to be um, a type of flower shape. We'll see how it goes. I have not used this, so we'll see. Um, but I'm gonna cut off the stem of it, or the butt of it. Um, same with the celery here. I'm gonna cut off that butt. Um, the corn, I'm just gonna husk, and we're just gonna leave it be. This is raw and everything. Um, same with the potato. You've probably heard of potato stamps before. They're pretty common. Um, you can cut them in halves and then use uh, cookie cutters to create shapes out of them, but I'm just gonna keep this simple and just cut it into um, probably four so that I just get a half um, circle shape. And then my mushrooms here, I'm just gonna cut it off so that um, there's none of this edge here or the stem. So um, we'll see how this goes. All right, so I learned a lot during this process. Um, mushrooms that are wider and thinner would work better than the ones I used, but they still work. Um, the ones I got still work. You just cut off that stem. Potatoes I just cut in fourths, and then the corn here I'm just husking. I'm from LA, so I'm not the best at shucking corn. Or <laughs> um, so don't laugh at me, but... <laughs> I got it all off and um, then the celery I cut about an inch from the bottom, same with the romaine lettuce, and I learned that it would have worked a lot better if I cut it at least two inches. So if I had a little bit more, um, if I cut off a little bit more. That way um, the each little leaf or piece of celery would have um, spread out a little bit more and you'd be able to see the shape a little bit better, the flowery shape, but it still works. Um, <laughs> I'm going ahead and using my potato. I just uh, painted on with a paintbrush my acrylic paint. I'm using Apple Barrel acrylic paints. I just paint brushed it onto that um, side of my potato and I'm just pressing it down um, how I feel I I where I want it to go. <laughs> Um, I tried a couple different ways where I tried to like dip it in the paint and then I also tried it uh, painting it on with the paintbrush and I did feel like it worked a lot better painting it with the paintbrush. I also tried it using an actual stamp pad and it worked but I think that it just shows up a lot better with the acrylic paints and you get a lot more coverage with the acrylic paints so that's something to keep in mind. Um, I also want to point out that I decided to do multiple of these vegetables on one page and when I look at my page it's not one that I'm super happy with and not one that I would really uh, love to post or anything like that. It's kind of um, not the prettiest page I've ever made but I, I kind of went back and forth on if I should even post this and I realized heck yes I'm going to post it even though in my opinion, it's not the prettiest. Um, it still gives a really good example on how to use these vegetables. And my whole point of posting this is really to inspire you. So <laughs> um, even if you don't want to use vegetables, maybe there's something else around your house that you'd be inspired to create by watching this. And of course, you can use all kinds of other vegetables if you do want to try something like this. You don't have to just follow what I'm doing. So anyways, I'm using my corn here. Again, I just painted on that acrylic paint all over my corn and you just carefully and gently roll it up your page or wherever you want it to cover. I'm using my interlude Bible here so I have the full blank pages to work with, but if you just have a normal journaling Bible and you just have those margins, you could definitely scale this down. Um, just use the tip of that corn and your margins if that's something that interests you. My corn also is not the most perfect shape. <laughs> um, it has a lot of holes and um, not the best looking corn. So it kind of created a little, um, you can see like little spaces and stuff in my pattern, which I think is really cool. So um, it may not be the most uniform, but it still creates a really neat background. 
Um, now moving on to my little mushroom here. Um, again, I'm just using that acrylic paint and brushing it on, and then I'm just going to stamp it down, um, just like my other, just like my potatoes. This one, uh, you'll see there's a little hole in the center because not my entire mushroom does not um, is not one plain, but I really wanted to focus on that hairiness in the center, so that's what I was trying the most to get on. I kind of pressed down pretty hard on this one to make sure that I can get um, as much coverage as I can, and I kind of uh, messed up where I put that one a little lower than I wanted, but <laughs> it's okay. Um, I just point out these mistakes that are mistakes to me, but if you watch it back, it's actually not um, too big of a deal. I decided to just do the next one a little higher and kind of make it a little off-center um, and then place other ones on top of that blue, and I just stamp those down really quickly. So um, that's my little background on this page. Again, it's not one that I totally absolutely love, but you can see the idea behind it. And you can totally use this to create your own cool pages. You could just use the potatoes on an entire page. Maybe change up the colors. There's just so many fun things you can do with vegetables or <laughs> other household objects. So um, I just wanted to point that out. So that's my background. I'm just drying it. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my lettering. So the verse I'm working on here is Psalms 95, 1 through 3 which says, O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God. So I am writing out for the Lord is a great God. Just really quickly with my Funosuke brush pen. Um, again, if you've seen my videos, you know I have. I always talk about how I have this tutorial for brush lettering and faux calligraphy and stuff, so I'll put those links in the blog post that goes along with this video at scribblinggrace.com slash vegetables. And um, I'll also put the links to all of the supplies I use, the Bible link, the acrylic paint link, all of that good stuff. So um, be sure to check out that blog post. All right, so now moving on to my little flower, <laughs> I guess you could say, my flower in quotes um, page here. All right, so using this celery and romaine lettuce is probably my favorite household objects of my entire series to use um, because they're so unique and cool. But I want to point out that this page did not turn out exactly like I wanted because I highly recommend that if you're going to cut it, you need to cut it at the end of the stalk of celery or lettuce, right at that butt end. But um, I cut mine only about an inch away from that butt, and if you cut it a little bit farther out, so about two inches or three inches even, then you're going to get much more petals and much more definition of those petals. So you can see me trying to pull apart the petals a little bit, trying to create a little more definition within those, um, little extra white space between each little celery thing. Um, and so when I did it, I didn't really get as much definition as I had wanted, but if you cut it a little farther out, you will get a little more definition. So I'm using these the same way as my other ones. I'm just using that paintbrush and painting on that paint and then stamping it down. Um, I also realized once I finished this page that it could have used a really cool background um, instead of the white it kind of, eh. Um, <laughs> I personally like a little bit more background to it, so I might add um, some watercolor after this video, um, but just keep that in mind. I think overall you get the impression of flowers, um, and that's what I was going for. So um, the reason why I'm sharing these, even though these pages aren't perfect, and um, normally I like to post tutorials where I actually know what I'm doing completely. <laughs> this, I didn't exactly know what I was doing. I, this was my first time, and I'm posting it because I want you to know that we're all human. We all have pages that we don't completely love, but sometimes 
we have some really cool ideas and um, it's not all about creating the perfect page. It's about spending time in the Word and I truly believe that it's so important to have fun with it. And so trying out these household objects, even if these vegetable pages are not for you at all, but trying out maybe one of my other series on household objects can be super fun and a unique, unique way to um, add some paint and color to your Bible. And so I just added some leaves using a size 8 paintbrush, um, just some basic leaves with green just to <laughs> point out that they are flowers. Um, and now I'm just writing out, again, the same way that I did my last page with my Food No Suke brush pen. I'm writing out my main power mantra of the verse I'm working on, which is Psalms 37, 5 through 6, which says, Commit your ways to the Lord, trust in Him, and He will act. He will bring forth your righteousness as the light and your justice as the noonday. So I'm just writing out, commit your way to the Lord. Um, and again, I have tutorials on how to do this lettering. I have the blog post that goes along with this video with all of the supplies that I used and all of that fun stuff. Scribblinggrace.com slash vegetables. Um, and I'll put that link in the description below. Um, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it inspires you to create something different and unique in your Bible, um, even if it's a little out there and a little weird, <laughs> like these vegetables maybe. So anyways, I hope you have a really wonderful day. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Alright, have a great day. God bless.